All right, so free response problem one, we have a problem that says, um, as part of a study on the chemistry of Alaskan streams, researchers took water samples for many streams with the temperatures cooler than eight degrees Celsius, and for many streams with temperatures warmer than eight degrees Celsius. And for each sample, the researchers measured the dissolved oxygen concentration in milligrams per liter. So, um, here they have it, the first histogram, and this is with the streams that are colder than eight degrees Celsius. And you can see like the histogram, you know, starts all the way, you know, values going from two up to 14. And so it's um, asking you to describe the distribution of dissolved oxygen concentration in these streams. Okay, so when you um, are told to describe a distribution, um, remember the four characteristics. Remember the um, shape, remember to address any outliers, remember to address the center, and talk about the spread. So like the acronym, you can remember SOX, shape, outlier, center, spread. It doesn't have to be in that order, and it doesn't really have to be like in a formal way, just in some, um, in a way where you can communicate that it makes sense. So um, the shape of this, I would say it looks like it's skewed to the left because you have tail kind of going all the way here and it bumps up there. So somewhat skewed to the left. Now, there might be a possible outlier over here from two to three. We have to run a, you know, an IQR, you know, times 1.5 outlier test. But we can argue that it looks like there's an outlier um, somewhere between two and three milligrams per liter. And now the spread and the sh and the center since this is skewed you're going to want to um, focus on talking about the median and the iqr as you measure the center and spread remember if the distribution is um you know skewed like the the, the mean and standard deviation tend to be more affected by it so they could be misleading when you talk about them so since this is skewed be best to mention the, the median and the IQR. Now remember the IQR is from the first quartile to the third quartile. And you can get a rough approximation of what it would be because if you add the total number of you know data points in here, you would get that they would all add up to 429. So there's few, you would say there's 429 of them. And then the um, median, the median would be like halfway between. So the median would be like around the 215th value. Dividing by two, you know, it would technically be 214.5, but look for the 215th value. So, you know, just counting three, 16, 28, 33, 43, 83, 177, and then 294. So the 215th value or the median would be in here somewhere. So we can, that's, we can say the median is somewhere between 11 and 12 milligrams per deciliter. And then the IQR from Q1 to Q3, Q1 would be the 107th value because remember it's 25% of 4429. And this is just an approximation. So the 107th value to the 322nd value. So we would say that the 107th value is in here because you know, from here we have 83 total, and then here we get up to 177. So the 103 will be somewhere in here. And then the 322nd would be in this interval. Now we can't say exactly what the value is because remember these are um, ranges. These, are, these include all the values from 12 to 13, or from 12 to 413, 13 to low 14, but we don't know, if, maybe they could all be 12.5 or they could all be 12.9 or maybe they could all be completely different, 12.1, 12. 12. We don't know how many of what we have. All we know is that we have 89 total in this interval. So um, that, that's, what, that's gonna be your main idea for that one. All right, let's look at part B. All right, part B, we got the summary statistics given in this table for the dissolved oxygen concentration in the streams with water temperatures warmer than eight degrees. So the other sample. And 
it's asking to use the summary statistics constructed box plot for this data. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. You just have to know the five number summary, and that'll be the minimum, Q1, median, Q3, and the max. So just plot points here and just create a you know, box plot. And again, it says not to worry about outliers, so we're not gonna have to worry about doing asterisks or the 1.5 IQR rule. That's simply all you have to do for that. All right, part C. The researchers believe that streams with higher dissolved oxygen concentration are generally healthier for wildlife. Which streams are generally healthier for wildlife? Those with water temperature colder than eight degrees Celsius or those with water temperature warmer than eight degrees Celsius? Using characteristics of the distribution of dissolved oxygen concentration for temperatures colder than eight degrees Celsius and characteristics of the distribution of dissolved oxygen concentration for temperatures warmer than eight degrees Celsius. Justify your answer. So I, I feel like they're making this a lot longer than it needs to be, but um, it's basically just telling you to um, decide which of these streams would you say are healthier for the wildlife and just explain why, explain like how you came to your conclusion. Now, um, let's just make sure we read, we read it closer, we read this closely if you're not a biologist, which I am not. So it's saying it's better to have higher dissolved oxygen concentration. So, so the higher the dissolved oxygen concentration, the healthier the wildlife. So since both of these distributions are skewed, you want to focus on comparing their medians. Which one has a higher median? And then also look at comparing their IQRs. So the medians are, you know, in this one is 5.43. And in this one, we really found to be, you know, around 11 to 12. And again, we compare the medians because they're both skewed. And the IQRs, the IQRs for this one, again, goes from, from around 10 to um, less than 13. So it's around three. And the IQR here going from, remember, from Q1 to Q3, it's about two or 1.73, which I wrote here. So again, we just want to come. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think again. That's what they're looking for in this problem is for you to um, address what um, key measures of center you're you're using and, and to justify why. And you know, I address. We we're gonna compare the medians and the IQRs. And so since these are higher in the streams with colder temperatures, then. Um, then you know it's going to be, you know, the first distribution. And again, I just wrote it in a kind of in a in a way so they know I know what I'm talking about. But um, but I'll make sure to look over and once these um solutions become you know official, I don't they probably won't be released until the summer. And I'll make sure to um make any corrections or or address anything in the comments. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is what they're looking for. So good luck. And let me know what you think or if you have any questions. And I'm gonna to try to go ahead and look for the for response two. Moving on to number two.